Hi, Joe. I think I was invited to participate in this tribute video so that my friends in Fresno would know that I am still alive. It gives me great pleasure to join with your many friends in recognizing your extraordinary contributions to your community and state. As governor, I looked for highly qualified individuals to lead our state on our path to becoming a leadership state. I greatly appreciate that you were willing to serve our state by becoming a member of the California Transportation Commission for eight years and serving as its chairman in 1986 and 87. You used your extensive business expertise to initiate cost-effective policies, making it possible to complete a greater number of transportation projects within the funds that were available. In addition, you were a strong advocate for strengthening our economy by improving the transportation system of our state. Gloria joins me in expressing our deep appreciation to you and Sharon for your many years of dedicated service to your community, state, and nation. Congratulations. In 1958, Joe hired me to be on his staff at Gottschalk's. During the next 31 years, I was continually amazed by the community services and the charity projects that the company was always involved with. His one half century of service made Joe Levy the perfect recipient for the Lifetime Achievement Award. I first met Mr. Levy 35 years ago when I fell off a cotton truck moving here from Georgia. And from day one, Mr. Levy has been my mentor. He was a visionary in media, and anybody who worked in media in the past 70s, 80s, 90s had their favorite Joe Levy story. Uh, it was always fun to do those annual negotiations with Godchalks. But the thing that I learned most from Mr. Levy was the art of the development of personal relationships. Mr. Levy knew the importance of relationship, and he taught me that, and I will be forever grateful for that. Joe Levy is proof that corporate America is compassionate, caring, and kind. Don't let his soft-spoken personality deceive you. With his quiet few words, he has the answers. When Joe speaks, people listen. Joe's desires to raise the bar for political candidates led him to accept a board position on the San Joaquin Political Academy. Joe, you have a lot of hard work ahead of you. Case, take 12. Hey, give me a break. I spent the better part of my life beside the camera, not in front of it. Hi, Joe. Hello, Sharon. It's been 40 years since I did the first commercial for you and Gottschalks. And we did a bunch after that, didn't we? Your foresight to attack the television market was unprecedented. No other department store had ever ventured into television as you did. And our annual media negotiations were innovative too. I know you enjoyed it, I'm not too sure about the media. Joe, it was a long road, but it was a great ride. And I have you to thank for it. Thank you. Joe Levy has been a friend of mine for over 40 years. And I must say, I don't know anyone during my lifetime who's contributed any more to our community than Joe. Joe has been a leader, not only in business, but in all parts of our community and its life. You have given so much back to your community, and it is so fortunate and so appropriate that you be so recognized. Mr. Levy gave me 31 wonderful years with Gotchalks, and he provided not only myself, but 5,000 other associates, a workplace that was filled with trust, understanding, and friendship. And you just don't get that with any other workplace. Seems like only yesterday that I graduated from Fresno State and started my career at Gotchalks. Truth is, that's where my education really began, at the University of Joe Levy. Now granted, I didn't make the dean's list every semester, and it took me seven years to graduate, much like Fresno State, but I can tell you that I'll be forever grateful to Mr. Levy and Gotchalks for the professional and ethical lessons learned during those seven years. Now here's something you probably don't know. Back in the early 80s, Joe Levy crafted a marketing plan that sold thousands upon thousands of Bowcamp Quartz heaters in 100 degree weather in July. 
It's where the phrase selling ice to Eskimos was born. It's true, look it up, it's in Wikipedia. Joe Levy has always been a role model to me. You know, you can learn more about a person by watching them than you can by talking to them. Watching him run his business, how he treated people, his commitment to grow and improve our community. Even when times are personally challenging to him, he's always trying to make a difference. For more than 60 years, the name Gottschalks and of course the name Levy has been an integral part of the Oliver household. Joe, you were a mentor to more people than you will ever know. You were significant as well as successful in business. You gave back to the community in innumerable ways. You gave of your time as a volunteer with the Chamber and so many other organizations. You were a business person par excellence. You have left a legacy in your wake for all the yesterdays, the todays, and the tomorrows. And for that, just as one guy in the community, I want to thank you. Now you can see how much Joe loves Fresno and why I admire and applaud him. And there's also much more to him. He's always stood out from the rest, from the time we first met and later married. I was 19 and he was 21. He has always been my strength, my lover, my confidant. I love you, Joe Levy. Congratulations, Joe. Congratulations, Mr. Levy, on this prestigious award. You're one man that surely deserves it. Joe, congratulations on this most well-deserved recognition. He is a great man. Thank you, Joe, and congratulations. We wish you every good thing in all the days, months, and years ahead. Good luck, Joe. Mr. Levy, congratulations on this Lifetime Achievement Award.